Hello. Good to see you. All right there, Revenants. Welcome back to Code Vein and the Road to 100, where today we are fighting, facing off against Mito. And um, the interesting thing is here that instead of doing a one shot, I want to go for an actual like fast um, like sword kill. Uh, and so this is kind of what I have come up with here. So we will have uh, about 457 um, stamina that we can use, and we will have a 33% reduction in our usage. So we will have a significant amount of stamina, which we will be making huge, huge, huge use of Blade Dance here. So um, all that all things considered here, we should be able to kill Mito by slowing him down. Now, this will take, obviously, some kind of reactionary uh, resources from your mind, so this is not uh, my particular strong suit at all. Um, however, when we are actually dealing with this, um, you'll notice the first thing that we have a B-plus requirement here of uh, of our blood code and we are at a C plus so we cannot uh, even go into the fight without doing some menu manipulations here now there are some crazy menu manipulations you can do with uh, white Mia and different things to try and get her gift extension uh, paired into this as well but I'm not going for uh, the extreme on this case and so we are just going to try for some of the um, slow and steady wins the race here race here and the slow and steady actually will turn out to be a very fast uh one-handed sword kill for Mito. we just have to uh keep our eyes open for his triple slash and his wide swinging strikes uh, everything else will be very very mitigatable if that's even a word and the entire trick of this is to constantly try and be behind him um, so with that in mind, um, I'm not going to talk through each of the menu options, but the obvious idea is that we need to uh, get to a point where we are uh, B+, plus, so we can use uh, Bridge to Glory and then go back to uh, our gifts before we start the fight. So that's what's going on here and uh, we'll start the fight and we'll get going um, now it is possible to use an icor blend um, like last time uh, but it is not very necessary the most important thing is to remember your slow cartridges to be using these at all possible points in time during the fight use all five if you possibly can if there is a moment that presents itself use a slow cartridge okay so with that in mind uh, let's get going Okay. <clears throat> now, we do not want to use Blade Dance until about um, his transition point, um, but you'll see when and where that will come in super handy. Okay, let's go uh, here. And you can see that if we use Blade Dance now, uh, we are wasting time in the cutscene. And that's what you want to watch for. Okay. Okay, so in, st in spite of me getting slapped in the face once, um, you can see that uh, because of the um, amount of slashes that we are going through, uh, Blade Dance, as soon as you have it available to be active, the fight doesn't last long enough because going through his transition, um, you can get a lot of slashes off at 
even though even though the uh, slashes are doing 90% reduced damage through his transition phase, the reality is is that you're still stacking up that 5% every single slash, and you can get to about 100% because um, you can do about 20 or 30 strikes or so, and because you have 457 uh, stamina through the fight, you never have to really wait and stop um, and get back on your feet to try and get as many slashes as you want. So it's a very, 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 very fast way of going about uh, dispatching Mido, and the Executioner is just insanely strong with uh, the Prometheus Blood Code, and especially when you attach it to something like this, where you have lots and lots and lots of slow buildup. As you saw, it was like five or six strikes or so uh, before he got the slow debuff on him, and because we were able to be behind him most of the time, um, him turning around gives you a lot of time to lock on, you know, and then move around in a, in a circle around him to always be in his back, uh, to be attacking him from the, uh, rear, so that way he can't, uh, constantly, constantly, constantly attack you with any sort of one thing. Um, so if you attack, uh, this fight without, uh, him, are uh, without going through the cutscene like we did, um, you will get a free about six hits um, before he even is active, which means that you can get him into a slow state and you can already start building up Blade Dance very, very early in the fight. Um, as you can see, the fight doesn't last very long. Um, and buffing and doing all these things takes a lot longer than just doing the fight, but uh, because Blade Dance only lasts for 30 seconds, 45 seconds with Gift Extension, um, if you are interested in getting the damage early, you can go in with Blade Dance active, or, or at least um, when he's in his uh, anime transition phase at the very, very beginning of the fight, and you can go for, uh, you know, about another 25% uh, increase in damage. Um, Overdrive is only meant to be a damage modifier to help you uh, get going on the damage, so you don't start out at, you know, the base 1000 here. Uh, but it is not necessary. Uh, you can put anything else on here. You can put poison on here or whatever else you wish to do. Uh, you can go for precision or hunting feast or really anything else you want to put on there. I just chose to bring our base damage up by 25% just to start out on a good foot um, with the amount of damage. However, you saw me get slapped in the face there once and that ruined pretty much the entire 25% because we hadn't even hit Mido yet. So again, this is completely uh, situational and kind of irrelevant because most, of the, most if not 150% <laughs> or 250% of your damage is all going to come from Blade Dance because you can see towards the end of the fight um, as he goes into his stagger phase, uh, you're, you're going to have all the slow on him and it's going to prolong his uh, take a knee moment. Uh, by like 50% and so he's going to be down on the ground for at least 8 seconds um, which is really really crazy and so during that whole entire time uh, you're going to have the ability to pump up and out a huge amount of damage from Blade Dance uh, paired with keeping him slowed the entire time so massive 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 damage here uh, that's coming out of this uh, build set here and obviously Jack we can't ignore that so instead of like this being a 5% increase all the time because we're using Jack it's like a 10% increase all the time so it's 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 so you can get to about you know two to three hundred percent uh, damage increase because of having Fatal Surge active with Blade Dance. So just between those two and having him slowed, a huge, massive, massive, fast kill here. So, uh, And since Mito is one of those bosses that if you give him an inch, he's going to destroy you, uh, it's best to destroy him quickly and efficiently before he gets any ideas of killing you. So anyways, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.